Hey folks, I'm here with my friend Anthony and he's just getting in here from the bank, getting his money together for today. And here he is now, Anthony. Say hello, Anthony. Hello. Yeah, and uh, we're going to have a hopefully a fun day, go to get some breakfast and uh, maybe go to a couple of stores. I know I got to stop in my usual record store, Getty Joe's place. And uh, you know, Anthony, uh, I don't know if you've seen him in a while, but he doesn't look like Getty Joe anymore. He used to uh, be called that because of Getty Lee. From Rush because he had long hair, but he got all his hair cut. Wow, can't wait to see what he looks like now. Yeah, and I, I wanted him to like say something in one of the videos about it. He's like, it's not that important. I mean, you know, why not? You know, you have, you have a follow, Joe. Anyway, it took him a long time to grow that mop, I guess, huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you know what Anthony says? What do you always say about long hair and stuff? I always says it's good, it's nice to look neat as a pin, you know? Neat as a pin, that's Anthony. Neat as a pin, Anthony. <laughs> Uh, awesome. You know, uh, the guy that uh, runs this diner that we like to go to, he's a very nice guy. He's always saying, hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. I hope I can get him on camera saying it. Let's see. Hey, how are you? How you guys doing? All right? Yeah, doing good. You like the booth over here? Uh, oh, go down there is better, yeah. Are you ready to go there to get it? I don't know. I wasn't around. So what do you have in it? So, like, like a good cup of coffee. <laughs> Every dime, that's your trademark. <laughs> I got that from somewhere too, but I'm not going to tell you. Three Stooges. No, close, but no cigar. You're not going to tell me where it's from? What happened? Oh, that's right, you did tell from me. the TV show. How much of these eyedroppers they give you of orange juice here? $5 for an eyedropper of orange juice? No, no, the large orange juice is $5. Oh, remember, this is, remember when you said that time, give me the five dollar orange juice? No, I don't remember saying that. Yeah, well, you can buy two, two half gallons of five dollars if they're running a the sale. Yeah. Anthony knows all the bargains, <laughs> let me tell you. So, what'd you, what'd you get today? The, the breakfast special? Yes, I did. Well, that's why I come here for the special, yeah. yeah. yeah sweet up your, sweet up your car. I like my coffee light and sweet. That's how I, when I was drinking coffee, that's how I always liked it. Uh huh. I tell you, Anthony, I don't know why, but for some reason, people like seeing the coffee being drank. They like uh, seeing or stuff like that. I don't know why. Um, people like to see a fat man drink coffee. What can I tell you? <laughs> Get out of here with that. <laughs> I can hear everybody now. Heart attack on a plate. Yeah. What do they eat? You know, what do they eat? Celery sticks? Maybe they do. What do you eat out there? Celery, carrots, water? Give me a break. What's the matter? Ketchup wasn't coming out of the bottle. I like a lot of ketchup. Me too. That's good. You like the little potatoes with your ketchup? <laughs> yeah. Looking for his pennies. Here we are here in a... Here we are, ready to do a little shopping. We haven't been here in a while together. No. Well, one of the things we're looking for, Anthony, is brackets. Down there. And I'm also, if I can find anything for my girlfriend uh, to pick up, would be nice. Well, I haven't been here in a while. A lot of records here, Andy. A lot of big band stuff here. They get a lot of nerve. A lot of these records are two dollars and they're not even worth a bonfire. This is the fun uh, level. Right away, we get our monsters. Look at that. Oh, that's nice, huh? Well, a little bit of all, all the monsters. What does it say at the bottom here? Castle of, uh, Castle of Horror. Oh, nice. Reprint of original uh, movie Yeah, that's actually nice.
Oh, I still. Tom Seaver, wow. He's got dementia now. They're going to make a statue of him in City Field. I was just telling you, why did you hear me telling her about the McCartney show? Oh, no, I didn't hear it. She, you know, she's going to see Kiss tonight or tomorrow night, oh, whatever yeah. it is. And she said, I hope it's like it used to be years ago. We went to go see McCartney about six months ago. And, and he was just, you would think he was 35 oh, yeah. years I've, old. I've seen him over 10 times. Okay, yeah. recently, yeah. right? He's got a lot of energy. Yeah, I don't know how how he can do that. Just you know the stuff that you usually see. This is this is clearly my favorite. This is what, what is it? I'm an artist called Massey. And this is there's a hundred Beatles song titles drawn in here. Oh really? Blackbird, Submarine, Walrus. Oh I see. And as you look at it, you'll see them, they'll just pop up. It's that's oh, incredible. That's what's interesting. That's yeah, that's my favorite Beatles. He read the he read the news today, oh yeah. boy. Oh. Yeah, there's so many. Bathroom window. I mean, it's oh, the yeah, I get it. There's a hundred of them there. She came in through the bathroom yeah, window the window over there. I'm not going to show it to you yet. <laughs> That's very super cool. Yeah. And this was kind of unusual. This was Michael Abaddon. Oh, yeah. With those reverse images. This is crazy. This is, this is not just so much that it's... The Ed Sullivan show. This was this is a vintage poster from England yeah, from yeah. about eighty seven or eighty six, right. I think. Pretty interesting. I've never seen that before I got it. Yeah, I got some unusual Beatles stuff. I'm, I'm always looking for this Beatles stuff that I haven't seen. That's there. Jeez, don't pressure me, buddy. I hate being pressured. I was thinking about that. It's a nice little photo. Hmm. What's the price on it? Eight. Andy, I know you think it, all of a sudden you think of changing your mind back, you're not going to get it. No, not really. I'm just thinking of where we're going to put it. Where are you going to put it? you got, you got millions of space to put it. Take some of the animals that you and your wife have, get them out of the house and put that in there. The get the parrots sort of out of there or the, <laughs> the ferrets or whatever else you have there. You have a ferret? What do you have? No ferret died. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even know you really had one. I was just making a joke. I didn't. I said that. Hey, Andy, I could see you in a remake of The Sopranos as Tony Soprano. <laughs> you know, I think of it. You know, I could see that. <laughs> oh, for Andy, I keep on teasing it. Look, you're for the, the comics. Wait a minute. Hey, yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> I think here looks like I'm feeling me anyway. I think I'm gonna pass. Gonna pass? Alright. Now you gotta explain to the man. Let's go. Oh man, I'm embarrassed. Yeah, and he's getting a little gas. Hey Andy, you getting that special cheap corn gas or regular? I'm getting regular gas, you wise ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see, where's it going to? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> regular or V -power? Regular. Oh, regular. That's what I get, regular. Yeah, sure. Top it off with a nice drop. Get your money's worth, folks. <laughs> Anthony will tell you how to get your money's worth. You betcha. Yeah, I don't know if you guys ever saw that video when Anthony was trying to use the, what is that, corn oil gas or something like that? It's a derivative made from corn. Yeah. It I... also can be used as a fuel. It's a little cheaper than normal gas, but... It burns up a lot quickly, also. So in the end, oh, so you know, you get screwed anyway. Pretty much, yeah. Um, there was somebody on uh, one of your comments that explained the knew all about it, explained the philosophy behind it and everything else. Well, one of my comments? Yeah. Uh, Commenters? Yes. Oh, so see, you learn something every day from somebody. Yeah, sure. Keep the information coming in, folks. We like to learn things. Never too old uh, to learn, right? That's right. Well, Anthony, I saw things in here that I thought were like kind of Beatles stuff you might like. Uh, where was it? Uh, let's find it out. Where uh, these things? Exotic, exotic Beatles. I don't know if somebody made these up or what. Well, it's different. 
It's like weird. You like this kind of weird stuff. Hey, look, oh, this one's got the monsters on it. What the? the Frankenstein and covers a nice one. Well, what does it say there? So, these are well, homemade, whatever this is. Yeah, it you know? looks like it's uh, people. These are burned. Looks on like them. interviews or something. Oh, there, uh, Joe. I'm here for a purpose. I'm here for uh, uh, those. Look at some of those CDs that you had advertised. Advertised. Yeah, let's do that again. See, these are under Beatles. Your new rivals are Beatles. Yeah, but uh, specifically, you have any besides the ones that you showed? Because I actually wanted the figure of eight McCartney you, solo Joe. ones. Oh, nice, nice. Very nice. Another satisfied customer. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm coming here for. I saw these advertised figure of eight, special collector's three inch CD, and figure of eight here also, which is a regular standard size CD. That's uh, what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Thank you, T-Bone. Yeah, I'm putting a tag on my total of $9.99 each. $9.99 no, each? They're out of print. So this goes in this one? Yeah, you can do that, actually. Oh, really? What's the deal? Oh, it's bug. Oh, it's busted. I gotta get money. I gotta get money off for that. No, I mean, uh, well, yeah, but you're gonna keep it in there anyway. Yeah, yeah, but what's the deal with this usually? It comes in here? Is that back, the deal? Back in the... Uh, you had to buy them separately, and then you'd put them together and make one... Yeah, back in the 90s, you had again. One right. week, they come up the first CD, then they come up the second CD, the following week, so they make you buy two CDs for every set. Oh. It was kind of weird. Was there any more stuff besides the Beatles stuff, the BBC stuff? I wasn't really interested records, in it. Help you. There's a lot of carpenters. If there's anything yeah, else... I, I was wondering if I brought over a bunch of records, if you would look at them, maybe you would want to buy them. Of course. Oh, how many thousands? Hundreds? Under a hundred? Uh, I would say under a hundred. Uh, Andy, what, what, are you going to buy this? McCartney too? I think so. You're actually going to buy it? What? I'm impressed. Because that's not a popular one and uh, it's a little unusual, so I'm glad to see you're going to pick it up. With some good songs on here. Uh, coming up. Uh, Temporary Secretary. Uh, right? You like Check My Machine. Yeah, Check My Machine. Uh, it's a weird album, you know that. Frozen Jap? Well, it's an instrumental. Uh, yeah, temporary secretary. Uh, it's, you know, it's not for everybody. That's why I'm surprised you're going you know, to yeah, take Yeah, but let's have on the fence about it, you know? Well... You know Coming Up, don't you? I'm sure. You know Check My Machine, don't you? Yeah. So you like Check My Machine? Yeah. I like Check My Machine. It's a B-side. If you like that song, you should like almost anything on there. Uh, well, you would know. You know. That's what I think. Yeah. Hey, Anthony. You had about three or four CDs in your hand. That was only one. What happened to the other ones? I didn't have three or four. Two or three? Yeah, I was just looking at what was on in there. Okay. It's best to only take one out at a time, so with the camera's focuses, you make sure you know you don't stuff anything in your pocket. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. He's always laughing. <laughs> anyway, we uh, so we'll show you what we got today. I'll begin with my friend Anthony. Yeah, he picked up. He did pick up that CD there. Yeah, McCartney too. And uh, you know, that's something I've uh, wanted for a little while for a few songs that I like on it. You know. Temporary secretary. And uh, I hope you like the rest. I picked up, as you probably saw, in the store there, uh, McCartney from 1989, a figure of eight CD, and it's got three tracks, including a version of Long and Winding Road. That Anthony really liked, and yeah. there was a different version of that. Never heard it before. And uh, also, there's this uh, smaller version, three-inch CD collector's uh, version of Figure of Eight. Yeah, look at that. Very unique. It's got uh, Rough Ride and Oué et le Soleil. I can never say that, but uh, anyway, it's a nice little curio there. They also picked up a little uh, something for Mrs. Mayo here. So, uh, <laughs> are there any other girls on the internet you think are pretty? Yeah, many. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear, folks, I can't. I, Anthony's <laughs> laughing up a storm here. That's it for this video, folks. And uh, we will see you all again, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. Take care. Well, peace and love.